Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today's pour is on a 20 by 20 canvas and I'm doing the wrecked ring technique. Um, except I'm not doing a ring pour. I just do a travel and dirty pour. But the concept is the same. You just use um, a comb like object and you go through it and make designs and it makes some really interesting effects. Um, I don't do a lot of swipes through with the comb. It's not actually a comb. This tool I use is a head massager and it's got like these little bulb things on it. Um, but it works really good for this technique. So I don't make a lot of swipes through the puddle with it. Um, but I have other videos posted with this technique and I just kind of go crazy with it. And it makes some really cool um, effects. This is not my original technique. Um, I think the first person I saw do it was Mina. Um, so you can check out her channel for um, some more content like this. And um, if you guys noticed at the beginning, I didn't have my product lineup in the um, pictures like I normally do. And that is because I accidentally deleted my picture for this video. Um, so I'm going to try to remember the name of the paints that I used. Um, but I probably won't be able to remember the brands. And I'm very sorry, but... It's been a little while since I painted this. Um, today is Sunday, December the 13th, I think. Um, I'm all finished with school until next semester. I passed all my classes. Um, I can't remember if I commented on my last video or not, but I didn't do well on my finance exam and I was extremely upset. Um, but my professor curved our grade. I guess maybe the class overall didn't do well on the final exam. It was really difficult. So they curved, um, the professor curved my grade and I got a B on it. So I'll take it. I'll take it. That's all I can say. Um, um, I normally make A's, um, but finance is really difficult. So I'm very happy with that B. Um, let's see. Yesterday I got to see um, Missy and Dana and Lenny. This is the first time I've got to see them in like almost a month. And I really missed them. So I was really, really happy to be able to see them. And we went and got a coffee. And yeah. Um, so that was nice to do. And that's been about it. I haven't been able to paint um, like this. Like just go mix up some colors and do a pour. I haven't been able to do that because ever since I got out of school um, for this semester, I've been working on fulfilling holiday orders. And um, there's, I think, there's one order that has like seven pieces that I have to complete for Christmas. Um, and then I have three more orders that's just single pieces so I got a lot on my plate I'm working to fulfill them <laughs> um hopefully fingers crossed I'll have them done by Christmas and then after Christmas I'll get back to where I can just paint whatever I want to paint and not fulfilling people's orders um it's really it's really strange to like be in that position because I didn't start painting to like sell my art um and a lot of times people will offer to buy a piece of art and I just don't I'm just like no it's just because I don't know in my head I'm just like not entirely sure it's worth them purchasing um and sometimes I'll just if someone's really interested in a piece and they really really enjoy it uh sometimes I'll just gift it to them because I'm just like I don't know if it's worth what you what you're I don't know um I just never I never really thought of myself as someone that could create art that would be sellable um but in the past probably six months I've really gotten um a lot of interest in the art that I create and people um offer to pay for it and so I've just kind of been like well obviously it's worth something to someone if I'm being offered this and I'm not having to solicit it so um just trying to find a balance and being able to 
paint. It's easier to do whenever I'm not in school, but when I go back to school, it's, you know, a little difficult. Um, it's a lot difficult to juggle the time. But um, next semester is my last semester before I graduate. And I only have two classes. So it will be a little bit of breathing room for me compared to this past semester. This past semester was extremely overwhelming. Um, and I cried a lot. But it's over with. And I'm so thankful. And I'm thankful that I have um, the opportunity for this experience. Because I know it's not something that every person um, can experience. And, and so I, I, I'm not complaining about my experience like... I'm thankful that I'm in the position where I could even say that I'm overwhelmed about school because a lot of people can't continue their education like me. So I'm sorry. I, I certainly hope that it didn't come off me sounding ungrateful because I'm definitely grateful. Um, yeah. But um, what else? Besides that, that's it. Um, we're supposed to work on my um space to move my art room in my my art room art studio whatever you want to call it it's I mean it's my space and it's it's not bad it's it's a lot more than what a lot of people have I understand that but it's just like I've just kind of outgrown it so I need more space um so that's something that we started working on around Thanksgiving and it's just gonna have to go in stages because I have to have my sister and my brother here to help and they're truck drivers so they're not here all the time um but we're gonna get it probably in the next month or so hopefully um and then that'll be done and I'll have some new space and I will if um if I remember I will do a room tour and show you guys everything it's really I just need a lot more counter space to work on especially if I'm working on multiple projects at one time so um yeah that's just it's just I just need I'm just needing more space y'all you can never have if you're a paint pourer you know you can never have too much counter space because <laughs> you have to have room for these pieces to dry and sometimes depending on the pour medium and whatnot it takes forever for some of them to dry so definitely need more counter space definitely um but we will get there so lots of things happening um and just excited but like oh, am I putting too much on my plate right <laughs> but we'll get there um this piece is very subtle the colors come out very muted kind of like what is that Monet's water lilies kind of things but I think they're really pretty um and that emerald green color that you see that's about the only there was like three metallics in here but that was about the only one that made cells um so but it's still I thought it was really pretty it's a really nice um design and composition and yeah so um there is also some lacing in there I think my white got a little bit thinner but I'm not mad at it I love I love lace and it's just very hard for me to do it intentionally it always seems to happen by accident but happy accidents I guess <laughs> anyway um I do hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you're staying healthy and safe wherever you are and I will speak with you all very soon bye